Welcome back to the Tease, the place where we tease the upcoming scripture for the upcoming week. And uh, we are reading from the Revised Common Lectionary. We are at proper seven, year A, on that RCL dial. Uh, Matthew 10, 24 through 39. Big, juicy one for this week. None of this, hey, let's just talk about loving each other. This is where we get down and dirty. Uh, so this is one where you can bring to school and have fun with your friends, kids, because... This is the one where Jesus says, I did not come to bring peace. I came to bring the sword. So Jesus is going all Conan on us. But why is Jesus going all Conan? We're thinking here, we got to go look at like the rest of scripture, right? Whenever we get these like big, grandiose things that seem kind of earth shattering, that kind of change our way, how we look at anyone in the Bible. Yeah, let's look through the patterns, look through the flow. So if we, what, what's the big thing that they, we talk about Jesus that comes all the way from uh, Isaiah 9, 6, right? Isaiah 9, 6, they call to him the, exactly. The Prince of Peace. Yes, Jesus is called the Prince of Peace, which is then repeated later on throughout Scripture. We have Luke 2.14. You know, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those for whom he is pleased. Right? John, John 14.27, peace I leave with you. I give to you my peace. Right. So, so even though the Scripture is saying that Jesus said, I didn't come to bring the peace. Let's, let's maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm going on a limb here. He's not being literal. Okay. Why, Christian? Because if you remember in Matthew 26, guess what happens? They just come to take Jesus away. And what, what happens? Uh, Peter thinks he's Conan the Barbarian and whacks off a dude's ear with a sword, with a sword. And what does Jesus do? He's like, give me that ear and let me put it right back on your head. So literally life brought him, not a figurative, not a metaphorical, but a literal instance where Jesus could have said, yeah, I'm bringing the sword. He doesn't. He's not bringing the sword. What does he do? He brings the peace. So what is Jesus talking about here? Well, as we all know, context. Context is always super important for us to look at this. So Father Todd's going to go even deeper into this. But again, this is the tease. I just want to tease you before we get there. This idea where we're at in, in, in Matthew 10 is this idea of like, hey, you got to put me before everything. That's what Jesus is saying. If you believe in the Son of God, believe in the Messiah, I have to come first. None of this, hey, just maybe one day a week, two day a week. None of this, like, let me just be nominal. Let me just be a ritualistic kind of follower of you. Can I just make it a habit, a nice habit? Maybe we just do it on some days. Maybe, like, just in the mornings. You know, like a little prayer here and there. Jesus wants all of us. Like, he wants everything. He, he wants to be first in our lives because that's when true transformation happens. For anything we do in our lives, we have to be fully committed and on board. If we do anything halfway, sloppily, that's not even a word I'm going to use. It's sloppily. If we do it halfway, it, it, it's, it's, it's not going to fit and you must acquit. All right. So when Jesus says you need to put me first before your children, me first before your family, me first before your mother, doesn't mean that you throw them aside. He's saying in order for you to be a good spouse, you need to put me first. In order for you to, to, to really build a real healthy marriage, a nurturing, loving, respectful marriage, guess what? I need to come first. That allows you to have a healthy marriage. In order for you to be the best father you could be in your life on your own or putting me third, fourth, or fifth on the priority ladder ain't going to work. I need to be first. Children need to be second. But if we have Jesus being fourth or fifth on the priority scale, that is not honoring God. And not honoring your ability to really be a great parent, to be a great spouse, to be a great friend, just to be a great follower and uh, of God and a lover of your fellow human beings. And when we start putting Jesus first in our lives, sometimes that's going to cause some relationships to part. So you can love everyone in the world, and God calls you to do that. But sometimes because of the decisions and commitments you make and the way you change your behaviors, it is going to cause some split. Like a sword severs, it causes things in two. And that... Sometimes it's not the most peaceful thing to go through. So Father Todd is going to go more into this, but I just want to do a little tease. I will see you this week. Peace.